nine things high value women never do with men. Hello, my name is Greta Berishida. I'm dating and relationship coach for women, where we awesome high value women secrets. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I share with you those nine things that high value women never do with men, don't forget to take my free self awareness test to find out are you a woman of high value or low value, which I will drop down in the video description box below. And if you like my merch, chase goals and no drama, you can always get it in my YouTube store. So here comes the number one, what high value women never do with men, we don't pursue. And when I say we don't pursue, I don't mean just we don't text or call the guy first or we don't invite him on the dates. When I say a high value woman does not pursue a man, I also mean she does not pursue him with affection, she does not text him first after the date, she does not invite him to the date, she does not buy him gifts and presents, especially if he never got her any. It is, this is a big one to pay pay attention to. Because a lot of women, we think we are high value because we don't text the guy first or we don't call him first. However, a lot of ladies are not aware that by trying to hug a guy first, by reaching out for his hand first, that by getting him a present first or getting him a bigger present than he got you, is actually also pursuing a guy. So ladies, if you're doing these things, stop. You're not behaving high value and you are turning him off and if you want more details on why you should not pursue men check out my video right here number two what high value women never do with men we do not behave insecure so let me share with you a couple of insecure questions if you for example just started to date you might ask a guy are you on any dating apps are you dating someone else who are you talking to who is with this girl? Have we met her before? Why don't you introduce me to her? What have you been up to this week? Who you were with? If you're in a more serious relationship or perhaps in marriage, insecure questions would be something like, do you love me? Do you still find me attractive? Does my bum look big in this? Ladies, all of these questions are very, very insecure. And when you're asking a man these questions, you're actually undervaluing yourself. When you're undervaluing yourself, logically thinking, can you be high value when you actually yourself are reducing your own value and worth? For example, if you're asking a guy, are you still on any dating apps? Are you dating other girls? Who is this girl? What am you coming home? Do you like her? Basically sharing with him that I'm feeling insecure because I feel like you might go for someone else because perhaps you don't like me as much or I don't have that much value and worth. When you're asking these insecure questions, you're also putting the other girls on a pedestal. So if you're putting the other girls on a pedestal, you might be like, oh wow, this girl kind of thinks quite low about herself, maybe because she does does not value herself and maybe she does not value herself because she doesn't really have much value and she's getting insecure over me dating the other girls maybe because the other girls do have more value so take out the insecure questions out of your vocabulary because let me tell you this it does not benefit your dating or relationship with the guy and it just makes him undervalue you long term. Number three, what high value women never do, we don't behave needy. So now let me break down for you ladies what would be like needy type of questions. Needy type of questions would be like, oh we don't see each other much. We only see each other once or twice a week. I feel like we need to see each other more so we could bond more. You don't talk about us anymore. Let's have an open conversation about our relationship. How do you feel about me? Why aren't you holding my hand today? I feel like I want you to spend more time with me. I feel like I want you to give me more. I have needs too and of 
from a man, I expect him to call and text me more. Ladies, all of these questions are needy questions. And a lot of times it does put a guy off. If a guy does not want to call you or text you, if he doesn't want to hold your hand, if he doesn't want to see you more than once a week, and if you're gonna be asking him to do that because you're feeling needy, he's still not gonna do it. Or if he's gonna do it, he'll, he'll do it because he feels petty for you or he will do it because he has to. So can you imagine this? Like if he doesn't want to hold your hand but you tell him to hold your hand, he's gonna be holding it very loosely like this and it's just gonna feel yucky. But then you're not acting needy and you let him do things from his own free will then he'll hold your hand it's gonna be affectionate and it's gonna be tender and it's gonna feel good and secure and reassuring and you're not gonna be the one asking him to call you or text you more and he's gonna be doing it from his own free will the text messages will be way more fun the phone calls will be way more fun the dates will be way more fun then he'll do things from his own free will it will come from his pursuing side because he wants to do those things and when you want to do those things you're just gonna enjoy it so much more and ladies I know you probably are having questions right now like so how do I communicate with a guy my needs or have these open relationship conversations I have a couple videos on communication how to do it really really effectively and majority of times it does not involve talking so if you want to know how to have a effective communication with a guy check out my video right here number four what high-value women never do we do not live in their fantasy and we do not put a man on a pedestal I may I'm making so many videos about a pedestal but ladies you really really put guys on a pedestal and I realize that it's not just a teenage girl group and to be honest I actually think that teenage girls put guys on a pedestal the least usually the women that are usually a bit older and then we are looking for a guy that let's say has a secure job is generous knows how to charm a girl usually it's the older ladies that end up putting men on pedestals ladies when you put a man on a pedestal that energy shows next thing that usually follows from a girl is trying to please a guy which of course in return will start to turn him off because when you're pleasing a guy you start to chase him you start to go out of your way and you let's say skip that gym class for him you stop making plans with your friends because perhaps he's gonna ask you out at that last minute and then you continuously start to please him because you're putting him on a pedestal of course long term he will get turned off because he will stop seeing value in you why will he stop seeing value in you because you're not seeing enough of value in your own life in fact what you're doing you're putting your life aside for him so when you put your life aside for him, you're basically saying, look, I don't have much value in my life. All focus is on you. And when you don't have much value in your life, you become empty, you become boring, you become uninteresting. Number five, what high value women never do, we don't take the lead. So where do women take the lead sometimes? For example, suggestions such as, let's go on holiday together. Where is this going? Will you be my boyfriend? Are you thinking about marriage? Do you want to have children? Telling to a man, I love you first. By doing these things and asking these questions, you're actually behaving masculine and you're taking the lead in a relationship. When you take the lead in a relationship, if you're with a masculine guy, you will for sure turn him off because you're behaving like a man here. He is not looking for another dude. He's looking for a girl that he can lead and stay attracted to. Ladies, I understand that you are looking for safety and security. That's why you're asking these questions. Staying in your feminine energy and being patient is definitely one of the biggest high-value woman qualities you have.
Number six, what high value women never do, they don't play nasty games on men. So trying to make a guy jealous, trying to make a guy insecure, having all kinds of plans to use men. I realized that a lot of women that understand the psychology between men and women and how this relationship thing kind of works, a lot of women that understand how men and women fall in love, we use it for their advantage in a nasty way. So we may use these psychological tricks to get a guy hooked on them in order to use them. And that is of course not right and this is not a characteristic of a high value woman, this is a characteristic of a low value woman. Ladies, if you are understanding that psychology and your intentions are to use men, you're not being high value, you're actually being a very, very, very low value. A high value woman does not look on how to use a man. A high value woman is just looking for a fit. For a man that can compliment her and that she can have a healthy relationship with. Saying this, of course, I'm not putting the blame on ladies. A lot of men know how women fall in love and we use the strategies to manipulate a woman to fall in love with him so he can get from her what he wants. Therefore, ladies, as I always say, it's very, very, very important to be smart and know the game, understand the game in order to be able to read the person and protect yourself from those manipulative games. So ladies, if you want to know the games guys play on women, I have a fantastic games video for sale which I'll drop in the video description box below and as a pinned comment under this video. Number seven, what well, high value women never do, we don't take the bill. So if you're on a date and the bill comes, some women that are financially secure, they might actually offer to take the bill for a man, right? Especially if he earns less than she does. Ladies, high value women do not take the bill and high value women do not split the bill. And if a guy takes you on a date and he splits the bill, I don't wanna be mean, but that guy just made it clear that we are not on a date and this is more a friendship type of relationship rather than anything else. So high value women know their value and worth. We date generous men because we are generous women themselves. If a guy asks to split the bill, we look at it as a red flag or be simply friends on him. If you're actually students and you cannot afford, you know, like fancy posh restaurants, nobody is making you to take a girl to a fancy posh restaurant, you know? Take that pizza takeaway, get those Take away fish and chips, get her some ice cream, go for a walk in a park, go for some coffee. But be a man and take the bill. I'm gonna tell you honestly, when I'm on a date and a guy splits the bill, I feel like my first thought usually is I wish that the, like, the ground would just open up and I would just disappear. I start to feel like so undervalued. I start to feel so embarrassed. And it doesn't matter what he does after what he says. It doesn't matter the most romantic things he comes up with. It's like, no, friendzoned.com. I'm never putting myself in an embarrassing situation like that with you again as a day. And to people who say this is gold dating, I'm not asking a guy for money, I'm not asking him for the gifts. If you're asking me on a date, you're taking the bill. It's just common courtesy, this is just common manners. Number eight, what high and wild women never do with men is we don't lose emotional control when we are provoked or when a guy is trying to play some kind of game on them, make them overreact. High value women don't fight back, they don't blame back, they don't become aggressive, they don't lose emotional control. What we do, we 
step back from the argument when we set in the boundaries as we go along. Ladies, there is literally no need for you to go emotionally crazy in the arguments when you are provoked. Not only that you're reducing your value and worth, but also becoming very unattractive to a man. So if you feel the argument coming, really, really try and control yourself. And if there is some disrespect happening, just set in boundaries in the future as you go along. And how to set in healthy boundaries with a guy, check out my video right here. And number nine, what high value women never do, we don't do hookups at the last minute or we don't do any type of hookups or one night stands. It's low value, it doesn't make sense, it does not benefit you, you don't enjoy it. You're selling yourself short, you're selling yourself cheap, there is just simply no need for that. Also, if you're dating or you're in a relationship and you're seeing a guy literally at the last minute and all you do is like you just show up at his place, you have you booty call and then you go home. Well, ladies, maybe only one percentage out of a whole hundred of men will take you seriously. So my queens, these were nine things that high value women never do. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you liked this video, please press like. If you didn't like this video but you liked my cat, please press like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you might get to see her again. And if you would like to know how to to attract to be a tax games men play on women how to control your emotions how to get your ex back how to love your son or perhaps you have a little hobby that you would like to make into an online business i have all of these videos for sale on my website gratabrishita.com and i will put a link on how to get them in the video description box below and as a pin comment under my video um, join Brothers High Value Women School, which is a free Facebook group. We are there learning how to be a woman of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one on one coaching with me or a member of my team, book me through my website called gratabereshita.com. Thank you for watching, my queens. Kisses from Dorset. Mm -hmm.